Welcome back to Earl's Animated Worlds. Today for another Mini Brands review, I have Mini Brands Toy Store here. Uh, this is the Series 1 Toy Store. I know I haven't opened any Series 1 capsules yet, but I am opening the Toy Store. Alright. Let's talk about the front of the box here first. Uh, I have found plenty of these in Series 2. A lot of this is carryover. A lot of Series 2 is carryover from Season 1, uh, Series 1. Uh, we got our rare exclusive golden figure down here of Spongebob. I don't know if that's a backpack or not, though. Uh, that's the front of the box. Um, it's just down on the bottom there. Toy Shop, 27 pieces included. So considering that, you know... The uh, toy shop here for Series 1 isn't too different except for the toys. Uh, yeah, I don't see any reason why to just get the one there. Right, that's the front. That's the back here. Uh, it tells you all the pieces we have. You know, we got five. You know, I, I see this on these play sets, and I think, why don't you just have one? Because you obviously, on the other side there is the toy. You're going to see it already. And just do, you know, four mystery toys. Because everybody already knows what the gold is. Um, tells you all our pieces up here. You know, it's going to show them with the stickers on them. Um, that's the top. You can see just the Toy Mini Brands logo. Uh, sides are kind of a small version of the front there. Alright, let's get this open. Oh, wow. One bag. Some little pieces here. Some more little pieces here. A lot of little pieces to this set. Got this bag here. I think this bag might just be the uh, uh, plates there, you know, in the front. More little pieces. Ooh. Mini. More pieces. There is a lot to this. Yikes. More pieces. Is there anything else in here? Mini brand. A uh, little mini figure. That's a lot of stickers. Instruction manual. Alright, so beside the, besides the Spongebob figure, these little ones come inside, so let's see what we have inside. So besides the Spongebob figure, I don't know if any of these are actually um, exclusives. Wow. How far is this figure? Is this toy closed? Alright, here, if you know the song, it's Mama Shark. Alright, from Baby Shark, we got Mama Shark. Let's see what else we got here? It's just slime. So we got slime. From Rise of the Ninja Turtles, we have the Leonardo uh, costume set. From Rugrats, we got a metallic Chucky. Box is a little bent. That's fine. Got the Leonardo costume pack from Rise of the Ninja Turtles. A box of slime. And from Baby Shark, the cartoon, we got Mama Shark. And you already saw the SpongeBob on the uh, box there. And there was the... Uh, checklist inside the instructions there. Cool. 
I'm a bit shocked at these pieces here, you know, the arcade game. I think they would have really done well if they had uh, put different types of arcade games in it. Let's get another bag open and see what we got. Mm -hmm. It's the inside, this is the front. This piece here, obviously, is the um, controls. Just trying. My hands are in the way. I am so sorry. Okay. Yeah, so the arcade cabinet is just these three pieces here. Just gotta line all that up. Try not to push that out. Is that the sign? Okay, that's the sign up top there. I keep pushing this. I keep pushing this piece out. It's one of the problems I'm having. All right. And now I'm going to take it apart again because it'd be easier to get that sticker in there. All right, here we have the uh, crane game machine. Camera's at a bad angle. I'm sorry. It will be changed later. Um, so I had a little trouble with this one. Um, I had a lot of trouble putting the stickers on. I do like the way this is, though. I, I, I like this little piece right here. It would be really cool if they were able to put something like this in a... Um, like a capsule, but, you know, this thing's too big. Look at that, though. They, they have taken a lot of detail on this. You got the uh, vents back there. You got the other ports back there. There's not much detail on the side here. You know, there's those stickers. I do love that. That's really cool. That is amazing. That is awesome. I know. It's a little sticker. It's a puff-up piece of plastic. It's only three parts here. That gray part right there. Let's see the side there. That is really cool. So, what I'm going to do is I want to get a Series 2 toy store as well. And I think when I get that, what I will do to this piece is that I am going to take this piece. And before anything gets put together, I'm going to repaint it. You know, just so I can have two different colored uh, crane game machines. All right, let's get on to the next piece here. So here are the pieces. So I'll put together next. Uh, here are all the pieces to the capsule machine. I guess these are just the back pieces to it. All right, let's get this put together. All right, so if I'm reading it in the direction instructions correctly, it says put the stickers on these afterwards, but I'm not sure if I'm even reading that correctly. You know, if I screw it up or not, you know, I'm still going to get another one of these at some point. So what I'm going to do is where are the stickers to that. All right, so I got the sticker here. I got the piece here. If you're finding you're having problems with these stickers, you know, lining them up, I just say put these on before you put the piece together. Plus, actually, I think that looks better like that. All right, number two. All right, next part that goes on these is these are the backs. Uh, these pieces right here are the backs to these. Uh, just make sure to line all the pieces up. Feels a little tricky sometimes. Now we got a little gotcha machine. All right, so now those pieces on the back there are hooked to this. And that's it. And then they will hook into the bottom on there they slide into there and gotcha machine and the 
three colored rainbow thing over it. Great. That's done. Up next, I opened this earlier, so why not? So this whole thing here is a shelf. Gonna get that sticker on there. Sticker number one. Sticker number two. Okay, okay, I get it. These are the end caps. So right now I'm extremely terrified. I'm extremely terrified because I got to put this sticker right here on this round part right here. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know I shake a lot. I've got that on there really tight now. So it's not great, but it's not bad. So I'm going to take this as a win. So I just realized something. Yeah. These two ones with the sl uh, slits in them on the top here. The top are the, uh, I think, middle pieces. Maybe bottom piece because those go in them. Let me see where. I may have messed that part up. Nope, nope, nope. Did not mess it up. I did not mess this up. So, so this is the same piece no matter what. So these little pieces go into here. Some 1960, 70 car fin looking parts on them. All right. Well, I got a piece of the shelf up at least. So unless you're really good at it, some of these are going to have little creases in them. One end cap together. I'm going to change these shelves at some point. The position on there. All right. See you back when I get the next one together. All right. Back with the shelves here. So basically what it is is four of these. One of these makes this. Uh, it's basically the middle shelf there. And what's going to happen is you'll come over and you'll hook the end cap in onto this somewhere here. Yeah. And that's about it. So that hooks into on that. Um, so it only comes with four of these shelves. You know, four of the uh, middle shelves here. Uh, this is something I got in a, another capsule. So if you're still collecting mini brands, series one, two, and three comes with these. I'm gonna put this over here. All right. So this looks like that back section. Yeah. Uh, these are drums. This is a keyboard. Okay, seems all you do with this is have this piece right here. I believe that's the right piece. Yes, it is. Okay, place that in there. All right, place the gray keys in here, and these are going to be the keyboard. For the giant instruments in the back of the toy store. Yeah, do, 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 do. That is the keyboard. There are no stickers on it. Um. Okay, so these pieces here go straight into the, they hook into the base. Uh, you got the drum here that's going to hook in, and this little drum here. So these are drums here. They will hook into the base. Put those in later. Uh, we got this piece here. And so far, it doesn't look like there's any piece, any of those that actually have any stickers on them. Thank you. All right, so these are little pieces for later. Just going to put those over there. All right, these are more guard plates, side plates, whatever you want to call them. It's the big star in the back there. All right, so there is a sticker to this. Interesting. So it's not showing this picture on here where these get put together. 
So it came with a piece like this, and I don't see where to put that piece at. This is weird. It's showing this piece goes in like this, but it's not showing it on my directions. That is weird. All right, I'm going to get the sticker and put that on there. It's not really in there right, but it's fine. If you don't get the sticker in there complete, uh, if you don't ever get a sticker on these things completely right, never, ever worry about it. It's fine. If it's just a little off, it's fine. All right. So that's that piece right there. This thing's going to be huge. <laughs> Another bag. There's a lot of bags for this. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, what is this? That's a lot of little parts. I think this is the counter. Check out. And we got this counter here. After you're done, these pieces just go together like that. They obviously do not lock into place. That's this side of these. That is... Okay, nothing goes there. But the sticker goes right in the middle there of the clear uh, bluish piece there. And these just start together like that. You're going to do that twice. All right. So these are the checkout counters. Um, if I'm correct, you find the... Um, I think these are the checkout counters. Anyways, if I'm correct, you find the um, cash registers in a uh, capsule. Uh, stickers go on those, but I'm not going to put those on right now. Uh, maybe I'll have them on the finished product. None. Got one more bag after this, and that's it. All right, so this is the store entrance stuff. Um, if I'm correct, the only sticker goes on here, which I'm going to put that on right now. Mini Brands Toy Shop. All right, so these are other things here that are going to that go up during the uh, construction of the shop this little piece here is going to go on the back of the star here same with this piece and this little piece here go on the back of the star there and that's your front entrance and yeah, it's the entrance to this toy store. Wow, this is getting really crowded up here. All right. So that's it for that one. One more bag left. All right. Last bag. Wow, there was a lot of bags to this set. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of pieces here. So this is the base plates. Is that it? Yep, this is all that's left to assemble. All right. We got the base plates out. We've got all the pieces assembled. Now let's just assemble the store. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start from the back and assemble it to the front. And then after that, I will assemble the border. So let's start with the back piece here. Uh, these pieces simply just, you know, connect in, you know, slide in together. Uh, so all the pieces will assemble into like that. First thing I'm going to do is start with this piece here. Get this. Lined with the slots there and just press it in enough just to get it to slide in. Up next, excellent. 
we have the drums. Get the piano in there. After the piano, we're going to have the crane game here. It's going to go into these little slots down here. So just like with the other plates, the uh, back plates there, just slide them in there. I'm going to lift this up here. Trying to do this without getting in the way of the camera too much. Will it work? Yes. Slide that in. All right, so we're going to need this section here, this here. So what we are going to do is going to take the pieces there on the back and hook them into the yellow pieces in the middle of the yellow part there. And I'm, I, I, my hands in the way, but I'm putting these small pieces that are on the bottom here into these three little slots there. That locks into place there. Now we got our little games hooked in. All right. I might change these shelves later. I know I said earlier I'd do it. All right. So now we're just going to put the shelves into this area here. Okay. So I was not having a... That was not working. So what I'm going to do is put them in individually. Now we got the back and middle side uh, part of the store together. So biggest recommendation when putting one of these um, shelves in. Um, get the four shelves in the back here in first. Put this part on before putting the end cap in. Next part. Going to have the front uh, uh, part of the store here. All right. First thing we'll do is put this piece in here. So there is a little um, piece of plastic that should kind of just hook onto the um, blue part on the back here. Next, we're going to put in the uh, checkout aisles. All right, so you got the little indent right here. Just going to hook these together like this. Sorry, my hand's in the way again. Can't really do this that well one-handed, but they just, just automatically hook in like that. Remember these little pieces from earlier? Gonna get this separator in right here. These little flag looking things will go in right here. That's the little entrance part where you go in. That's for the shopping carts. Okay, so I did forget one thing. To finish this up completely, you know, to put the last couple of little pieces on, you are going to have to put the blue rails on here, the uh, connectors here for the sides. So on the connectors, you know, just look for where they connect at. Because they're connectors. That's all lined up. Put that on there. Get these two connectors together there. 
just going to lift this up very gently. I said gently, Earl, gently. Okay, those are in, so now we can finish this up completely. So I was having a little trouble with this little corner right here because there's a little peg behind there and it's right over here inside. So you're going to have to move these pieces around carefully. And last but not least on this part anyways, on the inside, we got the drum there. I think that's a drum. I'm not sure at this point because you got the three back there, the two up here. So those could be some weird seating air, uh, things that this store decided to do. These two pegs, I didn't know what they were, go in the front there. We got our you know, shopping cart ready for customers to come and shop in. Just going to put this basket over here by the registers. And because it is the exclusive to this set, SpongeBob gets to go up there. So that is it. It is complete. But I finally got the whole thing together. Uh, what are my thoughts? I'm going to prepare better next time I decide to uh, put one of these together. Next place that I put together, I'm looking into doing the grocery store. By the way, so... The instruction booklet has the stickers for the little blue shelves on there. Not the instruction, but the sticker book. It's also in the instructions about the little blue shelves. If you open mini brands, you know what I'm talking about. The ones with the teddy bears on top. Um, they don't come with this. It's not on the box. It's not on the back of the packaging or anything. But it's in the instructions for some reason on how to put them together. And there's stickers for them. And it shows on the... Um, uh, the box here them in the shop in the uh, store you figured it would come with it so don't throw those stickers away because on the um box it shows the teddy bear sticker on the back of the signs as well so you know if you got some of those uh, si uh signs put together uh throw a teddy bear sticker on the back there see if you like the way it looks until next time if you like this channel uh if you want to help out the channel you know subscribe like, hit the notifications, give me a comment, tell me what you think. Until next time everyone, bye!